take you back to July 20th, 1969. It was a sunny summer day, and instead of being outside playing like every 10-year-old, I was glued to the television set in my family's living room, watching the coverage of the Apollo 11 mission. And at around 4.18 p.m. Eastern Time, the world changed as the Lunar Module Eagle landed on the moon with astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin inside. I remember the excitement of the moment when I realized the astronauts were safely on the moon. Wow, I'm still excited about it all these years later. And it's that same sense of excitement that I want to bring to you in a new MOOC series called From Goddard to Apollo. I'm Bert Dicht, and I'm the Director of University Programs for IEEE, the Institute for Electrical and Electronics Engineers. I'm the author and instructor of this course, which will trace the origins and developments of the U.S. space program through the Apollo moon landings. The Apollo 11 moon landing was the culmination of one of humankind's greatest engineering and scientific endeavors. What is so fascinating is that the driving objective of going to the moon was not born out of the desire to explore and expand scientific knowledge, but because of politics and prestige during the Cold War. President John F. Kennedy's goal of sending astronauts to the moon was a political one, but engineering and science were the instruments of his policy. Of course, I didn't know any of that at the time. I was just mesmerized by the thought of humans on the moon. That July evening, I went outside, and I looked up at the moon, and I wondered, how did they do that? It was a defining moment of my life. I was hooked on all things space. Naturally, I dreamed of being an astronaut. Okay, I fell a little short of that goal, but I did become an astronaut in a high school STEM space program called Project Spark, or Space Research Center. That's me in the middle of this photo. For more than 15 years, I've used that background to share the story of Apollo to college students, engineering professionals, and the public at numerous speaking engagements. Now with this MOOC series, produced by IEEE and edX, I intend to bring that story to you. In this course, you will learn about the history of rocket development and the early pioneers. Just as important will be learning about the interplay of politics and technology and how that led to the Apollo program. It is a story of technology, but ultimately, the emphasis on this course is about the people. Some are very well known, but others not so. The first course in this series is called The Rocket's Red Glare, with apologies to Francis Scott Key. It will trace rocket development back 2,000 years and up to the start of World War II. The second and third courses will cover rocket development from World War II through the birth of ballistic missiles and the Cold War, and finally the space race between the Soviet Union and the United States. I hope you can join us on this exciting journey from Goddard to Apollo.